Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima. So this week, I thought that we could talk about some of my favorite things ever, and that is anything having to do with Christmas. As you guys probably know from last year, I love everything about Christmas. I love giving presents, I love getting presents, I love pretty much anything about Christmas. The family, the love, all that jazz and decorating, it's just so great. But one thing that I've never really been that into is Christmas music. So recently I've been listening to some Christmas songs because I feel like, hey, why not? And I realized that there are quite a few Christmas songs out there that are super creepy. So I've taken the liberty of um, looking up some of these lyrics and we're just gonna go through some of them and see. This is Santa Baby. Santa Baby, just slip a sable under the tree for me. But an awful good girl, Santa Baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Now, on surface level, this sounds fine. But, I mean, if you hear it when it's sung, it sounds like oddly sexual to be about. Santa, especially since it's usually done by female vocalists, it really sounds like they're just thirsty for Santa's D, and um, he has Mrs. Claus, so. I want a yacht, and really that's not a lot. <laughs> okay, spoiled bitch. And an angel all year, Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa cutie. Okay, now you're crossing a line. He is a married man and I need you to chill. And fill my stocking with the duplex and checks. Sign your ex on the line, Santa cutie. And I don't even know what the hell that means. Come and trim my Christmas tree with some decorations bought at Tiffany's. Gah! First of all, trimming your Christmas tree sounds oddly suggestive as well. And then you're saying, hurry down my chimney. Girl, how long's your chimney? The next one is, Baby It's Cold Outside. And recently, I heard this song and realized, whoa, this is kind of rapey. So if you don't know, the song typically goes female vocalist, male vocalist, or just two alternating vocalists at the same time in the same line. I really can't stay. But Baby It's Cold Outside. I look at it as like someone who is clearly a might be about to get raped. And, um... This creepy dude's like, nah, you gotta stay here. I really can't stay. But baby, it's it's cold outside. I I gotta go away. Baby, it's cold outside. See, the worst part about this is then it's saying, oh baby, it's bad out there. There's no cabs to be had out there. Your eyes are like starlight now. I'll take your hat. Your hair looks swell. So basically, it's just like pushing compliments on someone. But the alternative to those lines is the neighbors might think, say, what's in this drink? I wish I knew how to break this spell. Now, that's the only thing there that sounds like, oh, this person's a consenting adult. They're okay. But when you say, say, what's in this drink, I don't think it's eggnog. Or maybe it is. Just real, real alcohol -y. My sister will be suspicious. My brother will be at the door. My maiden aunt's mind is vicious, which is, you know, random. I don't know why you're telling me that. But maybe just a cigarette more. One of the next lines from the other person is that basically, if you caught pneumonia and died, get over that old doubt. Baby, it's cold. Baby, it's cold outside. So basically saying like, uh, well, if you try to go home, if you try to run away, you're probably going to catch pneumonia and die. So like, let's just like do it. Last but not least is let it snow. Now, this is always one that I never really thought would be creepy in a way, and I might just be making it creepy in my mind, but let me know what you guys think. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. That makes sense. That's fine. It doesn't show signs of stopping, and I've got some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Now I have to wonder, did that person know that you were turning down the lights? And did you ask them for popcorn? When we finally kiss goodnight, how I'll hate going out in the storm. Who said you were gonna get a kiss, dude? But if you hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. This is basically saying, again, if you don't do something with me, I'm probably gonna die, so. The fire is slowly dying. And my dear, we're still goodbying. 
uh, well, that probably means that she's like, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go, I'll see you later, see you later. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Because I need to barricade this bitch in before she run. Seriously, super creepy. Hope you guys liked that video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. And also a huge thank you to one of my absolute favorite YouTubers, Lisa Schwartz. She actually reacted to my channel on her channel. Um, if you guys want to see that, I'll have a link to that video down below. She watched the Photoshop in real life video. And uh, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and all the lovely messages on Twitter and I don't know, it's all kind of overwhelming and I really, really appreciate everyone involved in it. Thank you guys so much and I don't know, I'm just really happy and it's been a really good week for me and I hope it's been a great week for you guys as well. I'll see you guys next week with another brand new video. Later. It's finally here.